Hey everyone! Today's video is going to be on guinea pig taming. I often talk to people who have just got guinea pigs and are getting used to looking after them for the first time and I thought it could be useful for any new owners or people who already have piggies to see a video on the taming process and the theory behind it as well as some tips on what you can do to help your guinea pigs become more confident. Just before I start I have a quick update. The piggies are back home from university with me for a week or so in case you're wondering why the cage is all different and why they don't have their upper level. So if you are new to my videos and you do want to see a full cage tour of what it's normally like then I have one of those on my channel for you to check out. So on to the video. First of all, young piggies, or piggies which have just been adopted and have a new home, are often very skittish around their new carers. They will tend to hide a lot in their houses and run away if a noise or a person scares them. And they do this because it's natural for them as prey animals. And to start with, you're some large unknown animal which could easily be a predator. So if you think about guinea pigs in the wild, those that are more likely to run away and startled by some strange noises are less likely to be eaten, to put it simply. So they've evolved to be like that and um, it can be disheartening for new owners when they see this scared behaviour. Um, especially if you've seen pictures of other people's guinea pigs asleep in their lap or laid down relaxing in their cage, their sprite <laughs> showing us how it's done new pig. So when you see other people's guinea pigs like that and you've just got your guinea pigs and you're wondering why they aren't so confident and why they're still scared then don't be, don't be too worried because it does take a long time for guinea pigs to be comfortable around their owners. Don't expect to see a great improvement in a few weeks or even a month because in reality it can take months for piggies to be completely comfortable and to trust their owner. And don't forget that piggies all have their own unique personalities and some are just naturally going to be more confident than others. For my piggies I've owned Sprite the longest and I think it shows how she is definitely the most tame out of the three. I used to take her and Pixie out all the time for lap time and she enjoys just falling asleep. She's very laid back, that's the pers her personality. So she's happy to come out for lap time, she's happy to just fall asleep as she is now in the cage with no shelter on her or anything. It's a kind of different story with Annie and Lola. I got these about a year ago and I adopted them so they were rescue piggies and they did have a tough start in life but it has it is amazing how far they've come on and how tame they are compared to what they were when I got them. And they weren't they were fully grown when I got them and um, they would have never let me stroke them like this. I mean Lola doesn't even flinch anymore and Annie sometimes she will run away but in general they're both so much better than they were. So it's not necessarily just young piggies which can become tame. You can tame skittish adults to become a lot more confident. So that's just a bit of info about my own piggies. <laughs> oh Sprite. I think I just have to zoom in on this. So, so moving on, I always think it helps to think about taming in terms of general behaviour and learning patterns in animals as a whole. So for example, if you think of a dog, when their owner teaches them a new trick they do it using positive reinforcement. So when the dog does the right thing, even if it's just by chance, the owner rewards them and eventually the dogs learn to associate the command with the reward and will do the trick when asked by their owner. And it's this association which is key to all learning animals and it will determine how they behave. So your guinea pigs will learn to associate noises with you and good or bad things that happen to them. A great example and something which I think a lot of owners do, even if they don't know it, is to have a noise that means vegetables are on their way. So when I feed my piggies I tend to bang the bowls together, making a noise like this, <laughs> and um, they'll all come out and squeak for their veggies, even if it's not veggie time. Oh, I'm sorry piggies. Hello Annie. you get your veggies later. <laughs> 
But at the same time as learning that a noise like banging the bowls together means vegetable, they're also aware that I am there and therefore I am also linked to the vegetables. Which is great for me because if guinea pigs see you as a, f as a food source they will be encouraged to be more confident around you. When taming your new piggies it's great to make them associate noises with their vegetables because vegetables are among the things that they love most in the world. Then what you can try next is to hand feed them the vegetables so you might want to not put the bowl down in the cage and instead offer them a piece from your hand and if they take it then that's a really good sign. But if they're not ready for this then you could first put the vegetables in the cage and then just sit by the cage, talk to them whilst they come out and eat and then you can step this up a bit and try to put your hand in next to them whilst they come out and eat and then once they're comfortable with that you can try and hand feed them or stroke them whilst they eat. Then you can try all of this but without the vegetables there and eventually they will let you stroke them in the cage because they know you're not a threat and that you are associated with good things. However, the same logic works in reverse, so this is where you have to be a bit careful and not rush things because guinea pigs might also learn to associate you with being stressed, being chased around the cage, all things which they don't enjoy. So you don't want to use the treats or vegetables to lure them out before trying to catch them because then you start to break down the trust that they gained by linking you to the vegetables in the first place. You also don't want to rush trying to pick them up. At first leave them for a few days just to settle into their new environment and it is very likely that they'll never let you pick them up without you chasing after them and part of it is you learning how to catch them without them having a chance to run away and where to put your hand so you get in their way and you can pick them up easily and quickly which just becomes natural to you as an owner after having owned guinea pigs for a while but also what you can do if you're just starting out and you don't want to stress them out is to use something like a bed or what I used to do was the cosy sack type thing and if they go in there you can just simply pick that up and um, carry them to where you want to give them some lap time or something like that so that way you don't actually have to put your hands on them, they don't have to feel stressed that they're just being lifted up into the air with no support. So if I wanted to use a bed to pick Sprite up I might just... she's not gonna move... <laughs> sorry you want a drink? I might just encourage her towards the bed. Like that. And then just scoop her up in the bed like so, obviously with two hands. And I know it won't be that easy with new piggies or piggies that are very skittish but you will soon get the hang of things and using a prop like that to pick them up is a really good method to stop them being as so scared of you as an, as an owner when all you want to do is give them a cuddle. So when you are eventually able to pick them up or when you use the bed to pick them up or something like that then you can give them lap time and at first take them somewhere quiet and just sit with them, talk to them and even if you do this for just 10 minutes a day they will gradually get more and more comfortable and then if you think you're ready you can take them out for lap time in a more noisy environment so I like to sit with the pigs while I watch TV sometimes. But there are so many different methods you can use to tame your piggies and bring out their confident side but what you have to remember is that you must always associate yourself with something positive for them and try not to do anything that scares them because the same process will work in reverse and then they'll just become more scared of you instead of becoming more friendly around you. So I've only given a few basic examples of what you can do to actually go about taming them. So it would be really great if you could comment and share what methods have worked best for you when taming your own piggies and then people can read those comments and pick up tips and share their own tips so that would be really good. And in the description bar as well as summarising all the information in the video like I always do I have put a link to a really great article which I found and that this also talks a bit about the psychology behind taming and gives some great tips on the sort of things you can do so please give that a read if you are interested. So that's everything for this video, I hope you have enjoyed it and I'm going to say goodbye now so bye from me and bye from the piggies. Goodbye!